Hello and welcome to another part of my advanced combat system tutorial series. In this episode I will be showing you how to create a line tracing and how to damage the enemy. So let's get started. First locate your weapon and we will create a socket uh, called start and another socket called end. Now position them at the start and at the end of the weapon. Close it, go to the combat system component and create a custom event called trigger multi line trace. Now we'll set timer by event and return value will be promoted to a variable called multi line trace timer. Now set these values to timer by event function and we will create another custom event called apply multi line trace. Create a variable called character to hit class. This will be the master combat character, but it will be a class and it will be editable and exposed on spawn. Now create another variable. This will be called target hit and it will be of the type actor. Now let's set sequence and from the first one we want to multi-sphere multi -sphere trace by channel. Then we want to get attacking weapon. From that we want to get the weapon mesh and now get socket allocation. Copy it here and set the names to start and end that we created for the weapon. Now set them in a trace and set the radius to 10. Now the actors to ignore, we want to make array. Uh, let's add two pins here. First we want to get owner and then we want to get the left hand and right hand weapon. Now we want to check if we hit something and if we hit we want to set for each loop. Then we want to break the hit result. From hit Hector we get the class and we check if that is a child of the character to hit class. Then get the target hit array and check if it contains already the hit actor. Afterwards get target hit again and let's add to it if it doesn't contain the actor. Now let's uh, also pin this here. Create a custom event called stop multi line trace. Get the trace timer and clear and invalidate timer by handle. Then get target hits and clear the array. Now in the sequence we want to get the retrievable delay. Uh, let's just leave it at 0.2. And then we want to check if is attacking is not true. And if it is not true, we will stop multi-line trace. Now this last thing is just for the purposes if something goes wrong uh, you will mainly stop multi-line trace by yourself in the functions but if something happens then this will stop it 100% so you don't have to worry about it. Now go to your animations and we want to create two anim notifies. Uh, one will be when the attack is starting. Uh, you can also create another track right here and create a new notifier called trigger multi line trace. And then at the end of the attack, we want to create another notifier called stop multi line trace and you will this for all of the attacks. Now go back to your player and MVP, uh, get the notifies right there and we want to get the combat system. Um, we actually can make this a function so let's collapse into a function. Go into the function, so the return node and a combat system component will be the output, also this function will be pure. Now go back and we can just replace this here.
Now from the combat system component we want to get trigger multi-line trace and stop multi-line trace. Set them to the notifies. And now when we play and equip a weapon, you can see the line trace is working. But we don't have anything to hit, so we need to create enemy character for this. So create a child of master combat character. This will be called master enemy. I'm gonna create a folder for him, open it up, and let's set the mesh right here, set the rotation also. And when it's done, uh, go to the capsule component and set the collision presets to custom. We want, uh, we want to set visibility to block and camera to ignore. I'm going to rotate him right here and also I'm going to go to a third person character and set the character to hit class to the master combat character. You can set it to whatever you want. And lastly, after the trace, I just want to see if we hit, so I'm going to print string right here. Now, as you can see, we can hit the target, but we don't deal any damage. So for this, we want to create an interface called damage interface. It will have function called deal damage with one input of the type integer called damage. Then we need to set the interface in the third person character and the master enemy under the class settings. After we've done that, we can set the master enemy to have 100 health. And then we want to get the event deal damage. That's, uh, that's from the interface. Afterwards, get combat system component, get current health, and we want to sub subtract the damage. Then we need to set current health. Afterwards, we want to check if the health is less or equal to zero. And if it is, we want to destroy the actor. Essentially, this is like a death. Afterwards, I want to print string that will say how much HP he's got left. Now we need to go to the combat system component, create a function called deal damage to target. Then cast to third person character and also create the input of the type actor. You can call him target. Then if the cast is failed, we want to cast to the master enemy. And then deal damage. The damage will be from the attacking weapon. So get the attacking weapon. Get its weapon data. Break it and get the damage. Now we can just return. Now copy this part and just paste it for the third person character so it can deal damage also to him. Now go back to the line trace and set deal damage to target at the end of the apply function and also set the target from the hit actor. Now when we equip a weapon, you can see he's got 50 HP left and when we hit again, he's gonna die because our weapon deals 50 damage. Now if you also do not want to see the debug lines, you can just delete them here and now you can see it's working as intended. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you somehow and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.